Hello everyone! I would like to make an update video as to why I haven't been making videos these past couple of days. Uh, basically, I have been rather depressed as to how the content ID situation on YouTube has been because this is affecting uh, both the users and companies on this, on this website and it's just like every time I've, I've been thinking about doing something on this website, I'm like, oh, I just don't really feel like it. And I don't want I didn't want to force myself to do anything because that would kind of make the quality of whatever I make pretty crappy because I'm forcing myself to do something I don't want to do. And I don't think anyone would want that. You know, I wouldn't I don't think people would want crap content from me because that's not what they subscribe for. <laughs> so um, because of that, uh, I've been, as I said, kind of depressed about this. So, uh, what I'd like to do here is make a therapeutic video of sorts talking about the content ID thing because I have been feeling a lot better uh, regarding the content ID thing lately as uh, more and more details have unfolded uh, on this. And I'd like to go over them because there are a lot of rumors and misconceptions being thrown around that aren't really based off of anything. So I would like to uh, go go uh, check through all this right now uh, with you. So yeah, that was kind of bad wording, but whatever, you get what I'm saying. I'm going to break down the co content ID situation uh, as best as I can possibly tell you from the information that I know. Uh, basically, a couple of days ago, YouTube flipped the switch on this new content ID thing, which as far as I can tell, they updated, which makes their content ID auto automated video detection thing even more finicky than it was before. And on top of that, they are checking over uh, pretty much everyone now. Um, <laughs> so that should say they're rechecking everyone. So that's what's causing videos that were uh, uploaded years upon years ago to be content ID matched. And uh, the kicker to this is that this is not companies doing as far as I can tell this is something that YouTube is doing for companies like um, Capcom and other video uh, video game publishers have stated that uh, it's not their doing like Capcom set, set on their Twitter hey if you've got some uh, claims uh, just dispute them we'll help you clear them up or something like that uh, there's also Blizzard and UBI soft have also uh, said the same thing and it's just really really stupid overall now that I now that I know what the heck's going on it's not actually um, any any particular companies doing or anything like that um, so yeah and I, I didn't want to make a video on this until I got uh, as many details as I possibly could as well so I wasn't really yeah <laughs> so I couldn't really make a, a video on this until I compiled everything that I knew regarding this and uh, the, since the content ID thing is, as I said, entirely automated, it also doesn't check for stuff like fair use or whether or not someone has the rights to actually upload a video. Like it, it might just transfer video rights over to some company, even though the person might not might already have rights, like because they're through a network that has blanket uh, right agreements for all their partners due to agreements with companies that give their partners the rights to upload so-and-so content or even direct uh, permission from the game publishers themselves. Like uh, Black Nerd Comedy, he said that um, one of his, uh, at least I think he said one of his videos, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's multiple videos, but I know at least one, let's just say that. Uh, one of his videos got content ID matched and it was a video that the company asked him to make. <laughs> So that that should that right there should tell you just how automated and dumb the content ID system is right here and now. Um, the other thing is fair use. Content ID does not consider fair use at all, and companies absolutely must consider fair use in regards to copyright. This was determined by a judge back in 2008. So this automated thing shouldn't even exist to begin with. <laughs> I mean. If you, you're, I mean, you're, you can't have a system that's automated because you know it, it's very important that things don't get censored and and whatnot regarding stuff and so many other reasons why fair use exists in in stuff like that. And uh, uh, speaking of uh, fair use, uh, even game companies know uh, that 
uh, game companies know the rights of the the players in regards to uploading uh, gameplay footage, you know, like walkthroughs, let's plays, whatever. I have a a quote here from something that Deep Silver said that I printed out here. Quotes. Deep Silver has no intention of preventing players who like cre who like to create gaming content on YouTube using our games from doing so. Nor do we seek to block any videos of the kind. This includes let's play, walkthrough, review, or other edited or commentated videos that are monetized by a player. Whether your opinion of our games is positive or negative in your YouTube video, it is not our right as a games publisher to infringe on your basic right to voice your opinion freely using a public platform. So there you go. <laughs> now that's uh, that on top of, you know, as I said, game, gamers already having the rights to upload uh, their game footage from game publishers via agreements of some kind. This whole situation is stupid and entirely YouTube's fault. <laughs> so, yeah, it's it, it's it's kind of bad and it shouldn't exist, but it does. But uh, this whole thing now, that now game companies are speaking out about it is uh, making me feel a lot more connected to the game publishers as a result of that because they get the rights that consumers have. Like, uh, there's, there are the other rumors that are going around are, are people saying that Gamers are what what they do when they monetize or upload let's play videos in general are doing something illegal because they're uploading you know gameplay footage without permission or something like that or monetizing without permission or something like that. No, they aren't. <laughs> do your research. In fact, I already explained why they aren't through the course of this video. So yeah, now, that's another thing that's been uh, thrown around a whole lot uh, through this whole thing, and it's just been like ugh. YouTube drama. <laughs> so yeah, um, while, while the whole automated thing is stupid, you can uh, uh, dispute the claims. As a matter of fact, nine of my videos got claims by Nintendo, which is pretty funny because they are on uh, uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest, uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, and uh, New Super Mario Bros. U all walkthrough videos with commentary which would fall under fair use and whatnot <laughs> so and, and you know there's a lot of parts to those walkthroughs so it's not like they targeted each and every video in those walkthroughs you know as a, a targeted um claiming thing it was just a part here a part there a part at, at the beginning you know stuff like that for just random reasons that you know where that content id doesn't really check over other than, you know, whatever was put into the system, and it just thought, mm, well, this this might need to be claimed and move over to this company, so let's just do it. Let's just do that without even consulting the company about it. Let's just move it over. <laughs> yeah, it, it's just really dumb. And what is YouTube going to say uh, to all the publishers that they're doing this to like this isn't this isn't going on with just the gaming community This is happening to music reviewers um, uh, Movie reviewers TV show reviewers all all that sort of stuff because you know co uh, Content ID is automated. It doesn't check as to why you are using said footage or audio clips in your videos so as I was saying, what is YouTube going to say to companies regarding this? Like the companies that have agreements or understandings regarding this? I think they're going to be like, oh, um, you see, um, uh, oh, I don't know how to put this to you, but we flipped the switch on Content ID, you know, the new system that we are working on that we didn't really tell anyone about it, so maybe you didn't know about this, and, um, what happened was we kind of put you in a breach of your agreements with certain parties. Yeah, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> and that's why an automated system shouldn't exist. And uh, I, I understand that there is a lot of stuff to go over on this website, you know, in terms of policing content, that it would be practically impossible for... Um, uh, humans to go through all the content because it's something like um, a year is uploaded every minute or so. <laughs> I don't remember what they said, but a lot of content is being uploaded on YouTube per day or minute or, or whatnot. So it's practically impossible to police all that. But as I said before, a judge ruled that you must consider fair use. So even, even so, 
it, a, an automated system like that just can't really exist under the law and you know YouTube and companies are not above the law. <laughs> now I don't, as I said, I don't think it's uh, uh, companies that are actually filing this, you know, filing claims as far as I can tell. It's when YouTube flipped the switch on this that are making claims being filed for companies without the company's consent of those claims being filed. So if anyone's to blame on this, it is most certainly YouTube. And I really hope I worded this video correctly. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna have some links down in the description so that you can read up on this yourself. I, I don't, I don't state anything without, um, you know, without any evidence backing things up. Unlike some people across the website, <laughs> so that's another reason why I'm making this video is, is to dispel a bunch of the rumors that are going around uh, here as well. So check those links out down below, and uh, that's about all that I have. Uh, oh wait, wait, wait! I do have one more thing here. Um, because of the whole content ID thing being automated at the moment in time, uh, I'm not really sure if it's such a good idea to continue Starfy at least every day, because um, in that game, levels are naturally pretty dang long. And le what happens if, say, I get a content ID claim or a strike on my account that, that's automated and it takes a while for it to clear, uh, and I have a video pending with Starfy that's over 15 minutes long? and one of those strikes takes that away from my account, you know, the, the ability to upload over 15 minutes, then I would have to split the video and that's not really good for the way that I'm trying to format the videos and yeah. So I'd rather have like uh, something else going alongside Starfy or put Starfy on the back burner until this is all cleared up. Um, like uh, the, I got nine, video, uh, nine videos automatically content ID claimed and uh, they are, um, it could take a full month for my disputes to finally um, take into effect, or unless Nintendo clears them earlier than that, or maybe they won't get cleared. But in, in any case, my account is not being penalized at the moment. Those videos are still up now and they're viewable, so it's not really that big of a deal because you know I make videos for people to enjoy and to help them for stuff like that, not really for money, like uh, a lot of people have also been accusing people of doing across the website. It's not always about the money people this has to, this has more to do than uh, just monetary value of stuff so get get that through your head people you know who I'm talking about if you're watching this video <laughs> okay um so yeah I might do something alongside starfy or I mean you know like uh, alternate days between starfy and something else or I might put starfy on the back burner for another game, and I already have a game in mind that I've been uh, planning for a while now, so I've already got everything set up on it regarding it, but I'm just going to uh, let this video be up for a day just to make sure that I get everything all, all set up to make sure the first part is good to go as well as future parts, because it's going to continue the storyline of a uh, past walkthrough that I've done on my channel that I, I set up for this uh, coming walkthrough that I was planning on doing for a while. And uh, yeah, I just want to make sure everything is kosher in that regards because I, I put a lot more production into my videos nowadays than I used to and stuff like that. So yeah. All right, that is about it. And this was certainly a nice therapeutic video. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, wait, shoot. Have I'm wearing a Nintendo shirt this entire time. This video is probably going to get content ID flagged by the new finicky system. Perhaps I should have been topless or something the whole video just to avoid that. Boom, 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 boom.